Okay guys, so so far we've <clears throat> watched two videos and through the two videos we uh, started our animation and we've got kind of our dash circle going around with our circle coming up and then kind of our explosion happening behind it. So what we want to do next then, um, if you watched in the, the video that I made that showed the kind of the end result of what should happen, you saw that this dash circle kind of wants these these lines kind of finish coming up, this dash circle kind of explodes away then. So let's go ahead and work on that part of it now then. So what we want to do is we want to go into our dash circle and we want to come down to add and we're going to add a, a repeater onto it as well. So in the video you notice that the repeater had kind of three dash circles that kind of exploded away. And so what we want to do then is we want to come down to our repeater options and it has three for our copies and so we can see we've got three of them in here. And then let's go ahead and uh, transform it because right now you can see that it's offset and right here down in the position it's at 100. What that means is that this uh, these circles are all 100 pixels away from the one next to it and it's on the x axis here so that's why it's 100 kind of to the right so let's go ahead and just move that to zero so that they line up with each other and that puts our circles all right next to each other okay we also are at 30 frames because that's where when we ended our animation that's right where that final those final things came up and that was like the final end point there. So what we want to do then is let's go ahead and scale and put a keyframe right here at the scale underneath our repeater. And what we want to do then is we're going to scale these up. So we have been kind of clicking and typing in to our scale to make that. One other thing you can do if you if you see you if you just kind of hover over top of it, see how you get like these side to side arrows? If you just click and kind of click and hold and then drag to the side, you can actually just, if you don't know necessarily the number that you want to type in, you can just click and drag and it will um, move it up as you go and as you slide over. So I don't really know what this number is going to be. So what we want to do then is we can just kind of click and drag. And basically what we want to do is just scale it up enough to make it so that it goes um, off the screen. Before we do that though, let's make sure we move over, let's go about 10 frames. So we're at about 40 frames here. And now let's change our scale. And so I'm just gonna start scaling up and I'm just dragging it to the right and you see my circles are kinda just, it looks like they're just kinda exploding off the screen. And I'm gonna just keep sliding over until they're all the way off the screen. And that, you know what, I'm gonna change my window here. Oops. Let's make it a little smaller. There we go. And I still am not quite all the way off the screen. There's just a little bit hanging on there. So I'm going to scale over just a little bit more. So it goes about to there, 443%, at least on mine. Okay. Um, but I still have this other, the original dash circle there as well. So what I want to do then, I'm going to just close up some of these and I'm going to go back up to my dash circle and now I'm going to go underneath the transform and underneath transform this is the dash circle and I'm going to transform the actual original dash circle so I'm going to move back to my 30 frames and I'm going to put a keyframe here and then I'm going to go back to my 40 frames where they all move off and I'm going to scale this one up now as well and let me click off of it so I can see it and oh, I guess that's fine and I'm just going to scale that up until that one moves off and that's at about 391% at least on mine as well okay so let's go back and kind of see what we got so far though so let's play through this circle and then the lines kind of explode off around Okay, so this is looking pretty cool so far. So uh, let's kind of move ahead to where everything kind of explodes off and where we stop so far. And so again, in the video that you saw, um, at this point then, our 
um, our circle and kind of our rectangles around just kind of move down to the bottom and then uh, we have a, like a new rectangle that fills the background. So let's go ahead and let's close up some of our stuff here. And so let's go ahead and select both the filled circle and the rectangle. So to do that, we're going to click on filled circle, then hit shift and click on rectangle. That will select both of those. And we can hit P. Once we hit P on our keyboard, it'll bring up the position. And what we want to do is we want to go ahead and just add a keyframe right there so that it remembers at this point where this uh, position of both lows are. Then let's go ahead and just move maybe about, um, let's go about, let's see, what do we want to do? Let's go about 20 keyframes this time over. And now what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and move our position down. So again, I can just kind of drag this over to the right. I'm clicking on the, the one on the right hand side, which is like our Y value. And I'm going to make sure it's all the way off the screen. And that's at about 1,600. Let's just go ahead and let's just go ahead and make it 1,700 just for sake of making sure it's all the way off. So what that does then is that kind of makes it so that as it explodes, as soon as it finishes the explosion, it's going to just start moving down until it's all the way off the screen. Okay. All right. So at this point, then, what I want to do is I want to maybe go about halfway. So let's go to about 50 frames here, which will be halfway. Nah, let's go a little bit further. Let's go maybe 52. So that way it's looks like it's about halfway. The circle is actually about halfway off. At that point, what I want to do is I want to add a new shape onto here. I'm going to add my rectangle now onto the bottom of this. And so I'm going to just do a right click or a two finger click and hit new and hit new shape layer. And on here now with a new shape layer selected, I can just come up to my rectangle and just double click on it and it will fill my whole screen now with that rectangle. Okay, so one of the things I can do then is I can, on my rectangle, I can change my anchor point. So I want to come down and I want to make the anchor point be right here, right on the bottom of it. So I'm just going to click and drag on that little like uh, crosshairs looking thing. And what I want to do then is I want to, um, at this point, right in the middle, I want to change my scale down to zero so that it scales down to here and let's go ahead to maybe where we our circle went all the way off and oops forgot to put my keyframe so let's go back so it's scaled here so let's add our keyframe click on the stopwatch let's go ahead about to 70 here and let's add that back up to 100 so what's going to happen then is it's going to, this is the little almost uh, like sun looking thing is going to go down. And as that starts to go down, then my rectangle comes up to fill its place and take its place. Okay. All right. So let's stop there and work on that and see if you can get that part of it done then as well.